guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over whether or not you should buy the Rivian R2 or the Tesla Model Y. Both great cars, and we're gonna dive in and take a look which car I think would be the best deal. Keep in mind that Rivian does not come out till 2026, so we're kind of left with the Tesla Model Y that we have available right now. But let's dive in. So over here, we have the Tesla Model Y. Great car right now. We're gonna look at the purchase price. And the purchase price shows that it is $43,990 for a Tesla Model Y wheel drive and $48,990 for the long range. Right now, you get an estimated range of about 310 miles or um, 135 miles per hour, as well as 4.8 seconds, zero to 60. Keep in mind, Tesla's range of 310, it needs to be multiplied by 0.8 or 0.7 because that's the real true range. I've had the Model Y, Model X, Model S, Model 3, and the real range isn't this real 310. It's actually about 80%, 70% of it because you have to take into account driving uh, quickly as well as using the battery to, for your radio, your um, air conditioning, whatever it may be, um, you don't get that full range. So. But the good thing about the Tesla Model Y, it does qualify for a tax rebate. So you get that a brand new Model Y for $41,490. You get colors like gray, white, blue, black, as well as red. Um, and you have the options of the Gemini wheels, which do come standard. Uh, and you get 310 miles range. But if you do go to the induction wheels, it drops to 292. So keep that in mind. You also have a tow hitch for $1,000 for towing your car, and you can change the interior from white to black or black to white, which is pretty cool. So these interiors, they are not included. The white is included, but not the black, and you have a five-seater or seven-seater layout. So that seven-seater layout is $3,000, and it does reduce your range if you have a extra seats. And at Tesla, you can do enhanced autopilot for 6,000 and then 12,000 for self, full self-driving, which is pretty solid uh, if you do the subscription, but not this. It's not worth that $6,000 and 12,000 because of how buggy the software is. So all in all, you're looking at about around $40,000 uh, if you want it to, $41,000 if you want it to just the basics uh, for the Tesla Model Y. For me, driving this car has been great uh, because of all the Tesla supercharger infrastructure. That is the biggest uh, the biggest thing about that. You have great infrastructure for the supercharger network, as well as there is a lot of room uh, in this car. I have had the Model 3 uh, and the Model Y is much more spacious because of the headroom, the trunk room. It's really great. And it's probably the best road tripping car I've ever had. I like it a lot, honestly, more than the, the S because of how much affordable, more affordable that car is and how simplistic it is to drive so that is the model y in a nutshell uh, i guess it's the best selling car in america right now and you get at 41 490. this right here is the rivian r2 just came out uh, they had their event and the r2 is i believe not available until 2026 so you have an estimated range of 300 miles an hour a zero to 60 of three seconds and a seat capacity of five seats right so here are some features of the car. Really, I guess they're kind of going for that um, outdoor adventure look. And with regards to the car, you have a entertainment system in the middle. You have room for the seats to go down, which is interesting. You have these uh, a two, I guess, uh, glove compartments, which is cool, as well as you have a nice interior of the car so very nice looking interior of the car and it's coming in 2026 so you can actually get it for forty five thousand dollars and you get priority delivery if you, you choose to do so if you're a current rivian owner which is pretty cool r1s is currently available but the it looks like the r2 isn't coming out until 2026 regarding the car let's take a look at the the video that they have interesting so pretty cool you get a huge like kind of a family vibe with this car and let's take a look at the reservations so if you want to reserve your car it's a hundred dollars due today and then you won't get delivery until 2026 currently 2024 when i'm filming this 
and you just gotta put your contact information, payment on a card, and you gotta wait um, $100 for uh, your reservation fee. Similar to the Cybertruck. I actually really like the look of this car. I think um, a lot of YouTubers did great reviews on it. And I, I am interested in possibly purchasing this in 2026, but I don't know if I'll put a $100 uh, payment for, for the car. Um, the look looks nice. I've heard some issues though with, with the Rivian software that it is very buggy compared to to Tesla where I guess they have much more engineers on so they're able to fix the software and you get a lot of random software issues with the Rivian because it is a brand new company. So just keep that in mind. If Rivian is able to really connect to Tesla supercharging network, then I think this car is worth purchasing. But if they're not and you have to use Electrify America, then I don't recommend purchasing this car. But yeah, till 2026, till there, a lot can change till then, right? The good thing about the Tesla Model Y is that you have access to the supercharging network, uh, which is really great. But Rivian, you have Rivian supercharging network, which I heard doesn't work too well, but they are partnering with Tesla. I'm not too sure how that rollout is gonna go. But if you're able to do that supercharging with Tesla, then Rivian will be a good buy. So overall, for me, I personally still recommend the Tesla Model Y because of the um, large amount of service centers. Rivian doesn't have many service centers, so you'll have appointments spanning one to two months pushed out just to see someone. Tesla, there's so many um, networks to get your, your car fixed within the service centers, which is the good part about it, as well as you have a, a large supercharging infrastructure, and they're on the same price, around that $40,000 range because of the rebate. Um, honestly, Tesla may be refreshing the Model Y, so I might, if I was you, I'd wait for that Project Juniper, which is the new Model Y that's coming out. That way you kind of get the newest features with the Model Y, all the new hardware upgrades. So that is pretty cool in itself. So overall, Model 3, I'm mean, sorry, Model Y or the Rivian, I recommend the Model Y just because it's available now. Great supercharging network, amazing um, uh, service centers, as well as you get the software updates that are constantly pushed. Um, and they're less buggy than Rivian's because it is a startup company. If you are interested in the Rivian and you think that you want to be an early adopter, then go for it. Early adoption of technology, especially like these EV cars, is fun because you get to be like kind of this early beta tester. However, you do need to keep in mind that because it is a new technology, it is gonna have a lot of bugs and issues and you may not get the most bang for your buck because the company is trying to figure themselves out. If you guys wanna purchase a Tesla, I have a link below in the description. So just click my link below, you get free supercharging miles as well as you get, um, I believe full self-driving for three months. Click that link below. I have a, a newsletter called The Silicon Buddy where I post all my thoughts in business, technology, uh, as well as all my podcasts uh, early for you guys. Um, so that way you got early access and you can watch it as soon as it comes out. Check it out down below, the Silicon Buddy. Uh, with that being said, Joel Fam, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace.